damn, look how much better this lock screen looks than the normal default lock screen. Like this is so much better. Welcome back to my channel, guys. You are here with Scott, where I like to help you guys get the most out of your tech. And today I'm coming at you with another jailbreak video. So today we are going through four tweaks that are gonna turn your lock screen into the next level. We are taking this off the planet. It's gonna be really cool. You're gonna get something like what you're seeing here, or you can also get like when you're playing music as well, you'll see something slightly different. You will see something like this. You get those cool animations in the background and you know, those cool little notifications and clock and yeah, let's get into it. The first tweak I wanna talk about today is called Jellyfish. Now that's this one up the top here where you can see uh, the temperature and the weather and the time and date and the little lock icon. So it just looks more modern, a little bit more sleek. I really enjoy it. In terms of the Jellyfish settings, there's not really much that you need to look at. You basically just enable it and you can customize uh, showing the weather. You can change the uh, color of the time to match, uh, I believe your background. You can change the alignment of the, of the those little texts, uh, like of the time and everything like that. You can change the thickness. So there's a bunch of different uh, customizations you can do. And that is it. Very excellent tweak. Check it out. Next one on the list here is Axon. Now Axon is what is giving us these cool little uh, notification bubbles here that are way different than the normal spammy notifications that you get that go all the way down the screen. So the good thing about this is it doesn't clock up your screen, but it still looks very modern and neat. I can click on one of these here and I can look at the news, for example, and you you get your little notifications to appear when you click on it and then it goes away again. So it just keeps everything really tidy and is super neat. Now, again, there isn't many settings to really configure for this. In the settings here, you can see I really haven't touched much at all. All I have is obviously enabled, turned on and haptic feedback. Now, if you don't know what haptic feedback is, it is when you get a little bit of a response, like you get feedback, you get physical response to touch. So, you know, it gives a little shake when you touch a notification, which, you know, it's always quite nice. Dark mode is also always a good option. Haven't turned that on though at the moment. The next one I want to talk about here is called Zen HTML. Now this one is super powerful and there's so many different tweaks out there that like are built into it. So it comes with, with its own defaults, which is what I have here. I've got one of the defaults on set in the background, but you can really have so many different ones. So you can see this little, I guess, animation. Now that is from Zen HTML. So if we go in, in the settings, you basically get an option to customize the lock screen and the home screen and advanced. Now, obviously today we're talking about the lock screen. So I'll go in there and it shows you this setup of how you've got it. So basically you can have background widgets and foreground widgets. Now, when it says widgets, these you can install from Cydia. There's plenty of sources out there that you can download different widgets from. This is really powerful. As I said, you can literally do so many different things and there's hundreds of tweaks out there that are built into this uh, that you can download. So for example, here I'm using the back, uh, background one. Now background and foreground is literally like, is it in the background? Can you interact with it? Or are you just looking at it? Or is it in the foreground? Like, can you actually interact with it? So I'm just using the background particles, but you know, you can add lots of different things, put battery, um, life, all, all sorts of different things. So if there's one, if you want things to kind of look at on your lock screen, you can definitely download them and, you know, add them into the foreground. And lastly, this one here that is showing the album artwork in this cool little space here is called Flow. Now Flow fits in with all the other tweaks. It's supported by Jellyfish, it supports Axon. So they all go together. So it's a great combination to have. Now you can see as I go through the different songs, it matches my background to the primary colors of the artwork, which is really awesome and you know, it's quite nice. So you can go through and you can look at all those little things. Super, super cool. So definitely check it out. Again, if we go into the settings, we can see there's not too much to customize just like the others. So obviously it's just enabled. You can set the album artwork to not show as the background and get that cool color. You can hide media controls. You can show the volume heads up display on the lock screen, haptics on button press. Again, like we talked about just previously, hide the color flow background and you can set full screen mode. However, I like it how it is. As always, you do get a fair bit of customization, but I think it does look good as the default. As always, my friends, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, definitely consider joining the family and clicking that good old subscribe button that you know and love. And I'm interested to know the tweaks that you guys are using for your lock screens. So definitely drop me a comment down below if you have any exciting tweaks that I should check out because I'm always trying to evolve and you know upgrade my device. So if you've got anything cool, I would love to hear about it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.